Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Thursday, August 17th and the energies in the day adds up and reduce to the number five vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, we are working with the hummingbird energy. And with the hummingbird showing up as the spirit animal, the first thought that's coming to mind is multitasking. I'm thinking about multitasking today uh, for the simple fact that when it comes to the hummingbird as a spirit animal, one thing that I remember about the hummingbird is that the hummingbird can switch directions uh, flying at top speed. So it could be flying fast in one direction and able to, you know, turn direction quickly without having to slow down. And with the hummingbird showing up as today's spirit animal, I'm thinking about the level of flexibility that might be necessary in order to make the most of today. I think about how the energies in the day uh, adds up and reduce to number five vibration. And when it comes to the number five, the number five deals with sudden and unexpected changes. And when I think about how the hummingbird move, the hummingbird is equipped for the sudden and unexpected energy that the number five day brings. So when it comes to say today, I think about the importance of being ready, being flexible. Um, normally when we're dealing with a number five energy, um, I'm big on, you know, talking about the importance of being organized to start the day, uh, the importance of creating some kind of a checklist before starting the day, the importance of using your alarm, your timer or your alarm clock on your phone to kind of set alarms to kind of keep you going to redirect you in case throughout the day you find yourself falling off track. Because whenever we're dealing with the number five energy, the downside of the number five energy is the overstimulation uh, that is reflected within the day. So from overstimulation, we could find ourselves like starting a bunch of different things and not finishing it or just busy. Uh, busy with absolutely nothing, but it feels like we're busy with something. There's whenever the number five is present or people who are strongly associated with the number five, whether the number five is in your birthday, birth month, year or so with this energy, this, uh, reflects telepathy. This is where some of us have strong abilities to just pick up on the energy that's around us. Uh, some of us are way more sensitive than normal when it comes to uh, picking up on other people's emotions and, and and just what's going on within the world. And I feel like for a person to be so sensitive and be and pick up on all that, that could be really overwhelming. It, it, to me, uh, thinking about, you know, as an empathic person and how it feels to be bombarded with other people's emotions, especially when I don't want to feel them, whether it's good, bad or whatever, you know, it, it kind of feels, it kind of feels like it's almost like you don't have no control over your own energy or you don't have control over what it is that you will feel. <clears throat> and I guess to a certain extent, we don't have control over like different feelings and things that'll come over us. But we do have control over how we choose to perceive and handle 
uh, the different emotions and feelings that come in. And with the number five energy, uh, one thing that is uh, prominent with the number five and people who are strongly associated with the number five is because of all of that distraction, sometimes with the number five, the number five could reflect addictions. And for me, I think of like an addiction as uh, a result of feeling powerless and almost a way of coping with uh, different things that we're going through. Um, when it comes to, say, a five day, we could find ourselves coping with, say, the powerlessness of feeling bombarded by all this different energy and emotion by keeping ourselves busy, doing so many different things to the point that when the day is over, it's like, damn, where did the day go? I didn't achieve nowhere near all the things that I set out and had in mind to accomplish today. The way to make the most of the number five, the day adding up and reducing to the number five and the hummingbird energy is to allow yourself to be flexible, like I said, and just open to whatever. Because whenever the number five is present, the number five is also a very lucky number. To me, the number five is that glitch in the matrix. It's that sudden and unexpected event that comes in. And in the moment of that sudden and unexpected event, Things may feel chaotic and just out of control, but it is from that chaotic energy magic happens and new things come into our realm, into our world and into our experience. So, you know, just from the day adding up and reducing to the number five vibration, the hummingbird energy coming out, it just brings me to the uh, to the feeling of importance to stay on guard. When I say stay on guard, not stay on guard as in you're guarding and protecting yourself, but uh, maybe staying on guard isn't the word, but it's more like, um, it's like, you know, that saying, if you, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready to me. This is that kind of day where it's like, this is a day um, <clears throat> that would remind me of um, that saying luck is when opportunity meets preparation. To me, this is the day where if we're prepared uh, for whatever the day brings, this is where we can see blessings and opportunities coming through the day. And Jupiter is the ruler of the day and Jupiter deals with luck and opportunity. But again, luck and opportunity comes through uh, when heart, when preparation uh, meets opportunity. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. So with Jupiter being the ruler of the day, Jupiter, like the number five, <clears throat> brings in um, those opportunities of you know, brings in new opportunities, I should say. So with all of that, it comes down to the importance of being flexible, being being flexible and ready. The day is the 17th. And with the day being the 17th, the number one, the number seven, both energies that are amplified and present with the day, the number one and the number seven, and also the day adding up and reducing to the number five energy are all masculine numbers. Masculine meaning that these are uneven numbers. Masculine meaning that these numbers are extroverted, expressive type of numbers, not like feminine, introverted, reflective energy. So with the numbers in the day, we could find ourselves wanting to do something for the sake of doing something. It's like sitting back and feeling all the different emotions just feel so overwhelming. It feels like a lot. So when I think of the energies in the day, there's this need to get up and do. It's like needing to be of service or needing to take action could be a big thing today. And with the number five energy, sometimes we could find ourselves wasting resources uh, just because we can't sit still because uh, silence can feel super loud whenever the number five energy is present. So when it comes to, say, Jupiter, Jupiter is the ruler of the day and Jupiter is in Taurus. Um, Jupiter in Taurus amplifies Taurus type energies, which with Taurus energy, it brings me to the thought of pleasure and comfort and stability. Pleasure, comfort and stability is something that's amplified today. Jupiter conjunct Uranus in Taurus with Uranus energy also there. It brings this uh, amplified sense of or need for freedom and new experiences, freedom, adventures, and new experiences. Jupiter conjunct Uranus is squaring the sun conjunct Venus in Leo. So with the square being made to the sun conjunct Venus in Leo, 
it brings me to say how those two fixed energies, fixed energies meaning fixed Taurus energies, fixed stable earth energy, is being challenged by that fixed fiery energy. And the way how I could see how those two energies can challenge each other is because Leo is that passionate, vibrant, youthful energy, and Taurus is that traditional energy. And in order for something to, you know, maintain being traditional, this is where we continue pulling from the past and keep the past going along opposed to say Leo energy where we want to reinvent from the inside out, express ourselves and be a bit more self-focused. So that's where I could see the challenge with those two energies. The moon is in Virgo today. So with the moon in Virgo, um, moon in Virgo energy amplifies an inner world that is reflected on say analyzing every little details about ourselves about our lives how we're doing how we could do better uh what we're not doing what we need to do is that critical energy where it's like we're constantly pick 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 picking and from all that picking we could find ourselves just feeling more exhausted than normal because there's so much to pick apart there's so much to pick about like when you look into the world and see how you know things are kind of like in the seventh year things are like as far as like the cost of living and different things like that like things are pretty much getting out of control and with uh the mercury with the sun with the sun and leo um you know this is where we identify with that courage where we want to say you know step out and create new experiences and opportunities for ourselves and with that squaring jupiter conjunct uranus and taurus again it's like uh should i just stick to the safe route the, sa the safer way of doing things or should i uh go after or uh try this new approach in order to create more freedom in my life to where you know, I want to feel something is what I get with that energy. But jumping back to the moon in Virgo, with the moon in Virgo, the moon is uh, positively aspecting Jupiter uh, conjunct uh, Uranus and Taurus. So when I think about the positive aspect being made to the moon, it's like the inner world is just reflecting on stability, security, and trying to come up with practical ways on how to make things happen, practical ways on how to create security and stability within our world. The moon is opposing Saturn and Pisces. So with Saturn and uh, with Pisces and Virgo energy opposing each other, that brings me to say the importance of uh, bringing together our imagination, our visualization along with our actions. It's like bringing together, it's like that whole faith without works. It's like bringing your faith and your works together so you could, you know, get a get get the biggest impact from the energy that you're putting into something. Um, when it comes to the tarot, when it comes to the tarot, we have the eight of pentacles in the reversal position. So with the eight of pentacles in the reversal position, it brings me to say uh, struggling to be productive today. Productivity might be a challenge. Um, being consistent and organized might be a challenge because, you know, Jupiter is the ruler of the day and Jupiter amplifies everything. And the day does add up and reduce to number five. And the number five is that restless energy that's always seeking or exploring. But I feel like it's because that number five energy reminds me of Sag, where it's kind of, it's trying to get away from itself is how I would interpret that number five energy. Um, well, an aspect of the number five energy. And I think about getting away from itself in the sense that we've been conditioned to fear our own thoughts. We've been conditioned to fear our own intuition and premonition. And with the number five being such a telepathic energy, because we've been conditioned to think that we're broken, if we're having an experience inside of ourselves that other people can't relate to, um, we don't want to sit in silence uh, with the number five energy because we're afraid what we would hear because we're afraid what it might mean about us to hear what we hear. And I feel like with the number five energy, those who are strongly associated with it, when it comes to the what, those who uh, struggle with, say, addictions or different things where the number five energy is coming from, I feel like it's to kind of silence all of 
what that energy is picking up and also to cope with the powerlessness that I feel one will feel when, you know, the mind is just everywhere focusing on so much things and feeling like, you know, one has no control over their experiences and what's happening within within the moment. But when I look at the day, the day does have a grand earth trine. And with the grand earth trine, that brings me to say thoughts of reflecting on how to be more stable and secure, um, stability and security, practical ways of doing things um, is a big emphasis with the day. But I feel like um, with the moon in a place where we're super critical and seeking perfection um, and the energies in the day adding up and reducing to number five vibration, I could see us trying to avoid feeling the feelings that, you know, will come from the stellium that's in Virgo at the moment, that need to be perfect, that need to organize everything, that need to live our life in a way that's unrealistic, in a way that's imitating others and what was that isn't in alignment with our truth. I could see how with that whole stellium energy, the mind being there, um, motivation, Mars being in Virgo, the moon being there, I could see how all of that could be a bit much or overwhelming and would explain, you know, it's like that feeling when it's like you have so much to do to the point where you do nothing. And in some cases, it might not be that there's so much to do. It's just the thought of everything that needs to get done just feels so overwhelming to the point that, you know, just skip, skip the day, just completely just dodge the day, um, is what I could, is what I'm getting. So for, you know, those, those of us who have important things to do today and can't afford to dodge the day, it's important to lay in bed before you even start your day and visualize yourself getting the things done that needs to get done. Visualize yourself in a positive, uh, state experiencing positive emotions and visualize yourself feeling good completing your task visualize yourself feeling good knowing that okay i've completed everything and now i just get to chill i feel like that's a great way to make the most of the energies in today you guys such a pleasure sharing this message with you I would love to know how you resonate if you do if you like to book a reading with me a natal chart reading with me or check out my exclusive weekly contents only on patreon the links for that is in the description box below please let me know that you're here with me by dropping me a blue heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.